Alright folks, welcome to, well, racing on behalf of the Top Split Podcast, I guess you'd say. I don't know what I'm going to call these things. Um, so we're at uh, Watkins Glen. This is, I've done a few races here this week and I've successfully completed one without major incident, to be honest. Um, it's been a pretty challenging week. Uh, you know three times taken out and you know you got to try, try and remain objective with these things but uh, you know when apologies keep coming your way I guess you can feel a little bit better about how you're driving at least that's okay that's part of racing track temp here is 41 degrees strength of field is just a tick under 2400 the race has split um, yeah it's a fun track the bus stop chicane i have to admit scares me a lot but um yeah i guess we'll i guess we'll see how we go 12 laps they go quick when you're having fun too actually i am car number five qualified six kevin henderson well done sir well played up in pole position xavier solar we know is a good skippy driver ochi yoshihiro i raced against at uh, new hampshire last week he was good actually earned the trust brownie points haven't raced much against others oh darren i have he's a good guy had a bit of trouble with ronnie when we were at the uh the summit point round <laughs> he was good for a chat anyway hopefully we won't see any of that uh, but yeah look should be a bit of fun i think they're waiting for me so i'll just do a quick fuel check yeah we're good and we'll get on the track and see how we go oh come on on the track please all right, get that up, that up, and all right, good luck everyone. Yes, they were waiting for me. Let's see how we go this time. Green flag, have a great day, let's have some fun. Well. Here we go, we survived turn one, that's always a good start. I can tell you now I won't be attacking into the bus stop. Because I find it hard enough to go through there on my own, let alone in a pack of six cars. So, as long as we're making gaps on the cars behind us, I'm pretty happy. And that's where you see that sort of stuff happen. Right side, drive through it. Clear. Good job. Keep going. And that's why I don't attack through the bus stop on that one. We uh, Edwin's a bit aggressive, isn't he? through there, that's alright. He certainly goes deep under brakes. But the draft of course helps keep him in touch. Oh, come on mate, have a think about this, have a think about it. Right side, clear. Well, good thing I'd studied him a bit. I knew he went deep under brakes, so... Didn't seem to slow him down at all, so, you know what? Good luck to him. Oh, tell you what, I can't pronounce the name behind me on first sight, but he's going pretty quick through those corners, isn't he? Maybe I'm just slow here. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I spoke too soon about Ochi and his brownie points. I'm not sure if it was him that caused those issues on in the bus right. stop on my right, eh? Clear. All right. 
On your right. Still there? Oh, I'm backing out of this, I can tell you. Still there. Sure, nothing. Clear. That's a really scary chicane. Like, I mean, you're, you're on your own, you take it in fourth. And even then, I've stuffed that up a couple of times in practice and once in a race. Thanks, well done. He's moving, he's moving. Oh, 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 oh dude, you careful on your re entry. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Wowzers. I was. That was a real risk of getting hit there, wasn't there? I tried to keep over to the left. Oh, and he's just driving through that pack. Look at that. All right, let's hope these uh, these two and I can get a break away. Although it looks like one behind us is in for the ride too. What the fuck, Ronnie? It's still a big pack, isn't it? Hopefully we can well? we can work together and catch uh, Xavier up front. I don't know if he's carrying any damage. I do know he's quick though. In a lot of carnage here this week. I saw an amazing pile up in one race I was in. Amazing. Had to go this time by. Hey, baby, get up on that thing. Oh dear. You gotta let me room, dude. Right side. Still there. You're clear him. Well, that's how you lose a spot, isn't it? Well, hopefully we can ditch the two behind us. Coming back into fifth now. Again, I just need to pull some time from the guys behind us. But of course, because we're going so slow through here, they'll be right on the back of us. And my march backwards will continue. Yeah. Got to let the race come to me. But, uh... Had some wins and losses out of it, though, in this race. Who we got behind him? Moises. Oh, he was the guy who was in front, I think. I don't think he's carrying any damage. Hmm. Right side. Clear, clear, clear. No point in fighting that at this stage. Fair enough. Carnage in this race. I would like a top five though. I think I qualified in front of all these. Oh no. Yeah, I qualified in front of all these guys except Moises. And I'm struggling to hang on to them. Look at that. Oh boy. Keep going. Keep going. Keep coming. Boy, oh boy. Got you on there, right? Got you. Right above you. On your right. Oh, you can have it, dude. The way Still this there, race is going, door. I'll bloody win it. Everyone clear, else clear, dropping clear. off. Hendo's only two seconds behind after all that. Oh, that's not going to end well. Now he's less than a, a second behind, I tell you what. What a race. Oh no, i got Ronnie coming up on me too. I haven't had good experience with Ronnie, but I guess time will tell. 
I think he's an oval racer actually. And of course this is a very famous track that the NASCAR guys go to, so I've never seen Ronnie race the skips on free tracks and of course this NASCAR track, so anyway, that's alright. corner but it wasn't too bad. Not gonna hold Kevin up, he's quicker than me. Sensibly backed out until looking real good my man. Take care of all this stuff. Left side. Still there? Still there. Clear. Well, here we are then. On your right. Well, uh, I didn't want to be in this sort of position, but you know, we're here now. Clear. Right side. Clear if you need it. Oh, we lost one there. Tough chicane. I was really worried about that in traffic. See, there's been a lot of action there. Thank you very much. You're such a nice driver. Just get a medal. I don't know what that was. Well, top five still on the cards, even. I just love the skippies. <laughs> such a funny game. <laughs> it can be a funny game. Yeah, it's just a bunch of idiot drivers. I think that's a bit harsh. It's a bit of a game here. This track brings out the Ducks and Drakes though. But they're all out of rookies. Yay! Well, folks, if you don't like it, there are plenty of other categories. It's an easy one to sort. Well, Kevin, you gonna look there, buddy? Looking good, boss man. Still there. They can there. both go, I don't care. Oh, dude, let me some room. Still there. Clear. Now, I will just sit on the back of this pack and hope that we can drop Ryan behind us. You can see the positions just get mixed oh, up so much. Yeah, Gonna need third through here again. Alright. Oh, it's getting squirrely up there. Dele, muchacho, nos vemos mañana. Ya me aburrí esta vaina. Nos vemos mañana, chao. I'm right back down to about fifth with six behind me. Hmm.
Oi. I don't know if that was Kevin getting on the grass or Ronnie getting a bit of Kevin, as it were. It's a little bit better. earlier there Alex Moises is coming back at us cheapest again oh what are I going to fifth there that was silly wasn't it Well, Ronnie's doing well for himself. That's good. I think he's actually a reasonable driver, to be honest. Um, just made some questionable statements over the microphone at times. Careful Juan, careful Juan. Oh, they're brave going too wide through there. Gosh, where do you put your nose there, really? goes Ronnie we won't see him again more than likely you fight like that through that section you just don't nobody wins except the guy in the front of the pack who's now one and a half seconds in front of the pack five, five to go. gosh oh dude don't, right. don't 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 Backing out of that, I can tell you now that Clear. for nothing. Good job. Left side. You're clear, clear. Left side. Left side, brother. Left side. Still there. Still outside of this side. corner, but inside of the. Clear him. On your left. We'll get the inside run here, so that hopefully. Still there. Clear, clear, clear. But we lost the two in front, so I'm now battling for fifth. With at least one guy in Moises who's quicker. That costs us the pack. Gonna go through. Right side. Dear idea. Still there. Clear, clear, clear. That's cost him. 
left side, three wide. On your left, one only. Clear. Right side. Still there. All clear, my man. I believe Moises is the quickest of the three of us, but he's, oh, he's pretty rough through the uh, the old bus stop. Maybe he's not the quickest of us. Well, he might just be carrying a bit of damage, you know. He's had a bit of a rough race. Not happy that we let the other two in front go, or the other three. Not really happy at all, to be honest. It looks like noises might have a bit of damage. On your right. Oh, I just missed my braking marker. Clear. That was all me. Now we got to get on the back of Moises and try and make something up the main straight into the bus stop. Good run out of there. Hopefully I'll get a tow and keep Ryan behind because he's shown he will go through turn one. Bit slow there from me. Don't run any play noise, we have to one here. Still there. Not sure why you'd go there, but still there. Does it hurt you? Still there. It's gonna hurt us both here. Still there. Whoa. That was pretty sketchy, wasn't it? Here we go. Mm, well, we're racing for fifth. Well, we had a chance for a podium there for a minute, but now we've got a chance for fifth. Still there. Clear. 
Well, we survived. That far, at least. Ronnie's done very well to get up to second, hasn't he? I think that pass... Oi! Well, I was about to say, I think that pass I made on the main straight last lap might have just cost me fifth position, but White flag. Moises is lap. now out of draft, which helps me immensely. Look how quick Ryan dropped back once he didn't have the draft. That, I tell you, that's, that's a real uh, indication of what the draft means at this track, isn't it? Stop it. Great smooth. No surprises, I had a nice draft up this straight here and that's my quickest lap. Which is not saying much because it wasn't very quick. Well, I'm not losing anything to those guys, so it's a little bit frustrating that you can see what battling does for the for the group. Sort of breaks it up. You know, maybe I just need to be more aggressive, but then, you know, you saw at the start of the race what aggression does. And <laughs> I mean, how many times has Moises come back at the field, you know? I think he qualified second from memory. And here I am talking my way out of fifth place. I'm not concentrating enough and he's catching me again. I think he might be carrying some damage, I'm not sure. Oh, look at that. Woo. Keeping me in it, boys. I think Xavier's checked out. Yeah, he's 13, nearly 14 seconds in front. 13 and a half, anyway. He has definitely checked out. Oh, that's interesting there. Oh, Kevin got in front. Well done, sir. Could be pinned here probably in about four laps. Oh, it's getting busy. Well, we survived. <laughs> I will take a top five out of that. Oh, what was that? Check a flag. You're still smiling about that, aren't you? What was that, Ronnie? Well, why don't we have a look at what that was, eh? That's the second car, yeah. right? Uh, I think that's, yeah, that's Ronnie there. What's he done? Nice fight back, by the way, Kevin. Yeah, thanks, Alex. I've had a pound in this oh, week. That's not good. Yeah, mate, there's been a bit of it around. Yeah, I don't know. What do you make of that one? He's going into that chicane. It's just... No one, yeah, anyway. No, oh, I got, got probably the best result I was going to get, and I don't think I was ever going to beat Xavier. So, pretty happy with that. Yeah, you did well, mate. I've got to tell you, uh, that chicane really throws some stuff into the mix, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it's possible to go two wide through there, but you've both got to give a bit of room. If everyone gives a bit of room, you can do it, you know, and it works, but... If everyone just decides they're going to hold their race, their line, and not give any room, then it just creates mayhem. 
Yeah, you're right. And also going too wide through there is not very fast. This is star. No, you better off just letting him go and dropping him behind. Yeah, just sort it out on the straight beforehand, you know. And a lot of it in there too is you know, like people just they just won't give, you know, like they just hold their line. If you don't back off there's gonna be a big accident, you know. It's just yeah, power, the way it is. I had to fight Ronnie really hard at the end. I had to get inside him the turn one to be inside him at the to be out inside him at the first corner of the chicane. Because every time he was inside there, he just wouldn't give me any room at all. Yeah, well, oh, I'm just checking out the first lap. Yeah, it was uh, an interesting race, mate. There's carnage all around and a lot of good fightbacks, including yourself, mate. Let's see what yeah, happens here. Yeah, I thought you put the commentator's curse on me there when I got hit in the first lap. <laughs> yeah, probably. Not streaming, though. I'm just recording this one. I might put this one up after. Alright, so what happens there? So, who's that in the room? Uh, how not too good. <laughs> Ochi. Yeah, maybe a little bit of that. So, Ochi's come in a bit hot here. I got cleaned up after the race. across the finish line and running his eye, he'd ran me from behind. <laughs> Must have been a bit upset that I beat him. Now, I remember Ronnie having a chat about stuff too, so I'm not sure if he's left or just didn't say much in the race. Oh, geez, where's he break there? He's yeah, I had that incident in turn one, at the chicane on lap one, and Ronnie was behind me and he just stuck with me all the way through. Yeah, he's not slow. He, uh, I think he's an oval racer primarily, but um, yeah, no, he's quick enough. Just didn't qualify well, I don't think. Uh, yeah, maybe he's an oval racer. He takes some odd lines. No, anyway, it's fast enough for him. Yeah, that's it, mate. Well, let's see here, now that we've had a bit of chatting. Oh, well, I'm just trying to get in the top split for Monday night. <laughs> <That's what happened. laughs> Two steps forward, one step back. Yeah, that's it. Well, hopefully we'll be there. It'll be hopefully a popular track and we'll get a, get good numbers, but I'd love to see you there, mate. All right, and who's then into that? Oh, I reckon it'll be a big show now. It's been pretty, nearly every, every race is split, at least once this week. Yeah, the bus stop seems to have kept them away a bit. Last season it seemed more popular to me, but yeah, anyway. Yeah, and that's just unsettled the pack. It's, if you're racing with good races, the bus stop makes it heaps better track. Anyway, Alex, I'm going to go and settle my shattered nerves. I'll <laughs> my skippy, which is more hits and offs. <laughs> I'll catch you around, mate. See you, mate. Hope to see you on Monday night. Well, so that was the first lap. What's going on behind me? People everywhere there. Let's go forward a bit. I'm, yeah, I was a bit worried about who was behind me. He was a really late breaker. It was uh, Edwin. Here's Juan, who ended up finishing fourth. Uh, he went wide there because he broke pretty late. I don't think I contributed to that there. And defensive lines are, and I let him up the inside because he broke. He was a late breaker, and I think from memory, I let this fella go through as well, Mr. Yagi. Daizaburo Yagi. I should have been able to read that. Daizaburo. It's Japanese. All right. Not a lot happening there, and then I let... Oi, what's going on there? Who's that? Juan Aragones. He wanted to go three wide, then he thought, Nah, you know what? I probably don't. Very good move, and I backed right out of that too when I heard three wide, so... Uh, we got through there okay. Probably pretty slowly, but we got through. I think there might have been some action behind. No... Oh, what happened up there? They were fighting for the lead. I'll have a look up here. <coughs> oh, he's lost that all on his own. Who's that? Moises. He's just, yeah, a bit of snap. Over correction, into the wall he goes. He's done well. Oh, look, he's just driving straight back out. Look, you could really, seriously, the track's got a bit of room on the right, doesn't it? Really. 
I remember that being pretty scary at the time. And who's coming up on him now? Mr. Diaz, he's, he's gone wide off. Anyway. Oh, they're getting busy. Oh, it's Kevin and uh, Ronnie coming through, no doubt. Oh, it's very busy. A lot going on in this race, wasn't there? This track really brings it out. You can see up oh, ahead of us. There we go, four through. Oh, it's... We, uh, who was that? That was Mr. Diaz. Somewhat unlucky, unsettling his own car in the rear of someone else. Usually the other way around. Yeah, here's me working my way backwards. Anyway, I'm probably waffling on a bit. That'll do. Thank you very much for tuning in to the, the Top Split uh, race view this time, rather than the podcast. If you're interested in checking out the podcast, head over to thetopsplit.com. Latest episodes up there with uh, iRacing Chief Steward Nim Cross. Great guy to talk with. Really good value. Everything you ever wanted to know about pro the protest system, uh, how to lodge them, the philosophy behind it, uh, and how it all works. So head on over there. Otherwise, uh, hopefully I'll see you on the track, and ciao for now.